Okay guys, so the weather today is totally polar opposite to yesterday. Yesterday we had a howling wind. Today we don't have a breeze. It's like a, a mirror. So just to reiterate, first of all I've, I've upgraded my plugs to the AC, my power plugs to the AC 150s and then you can see I've also put a, a slot in the front here. What I'm trying to add value to here is I've got air coming in here over the LiPo, leads, plugs, ESC and even the motor just to add some extra cooling. I actually got that concept idea from the aircraft guys that's how they cool their planes and I thought why not add some extra um, airflow into the boat to add to cooling. I mean if these boats are going to run for a few minutes we want as much cooling as possible. Sitting pretty. Trying to ride it as hard as I can. Okay, I think we would have built up a good temp there. I'm going to get it into the workshop as quickly as possible and check the temps. Nice. Okay, let's go see the temp straight away. Okay, it's thought of the motor. Forty one on the top. Thirty twenty six on the bottom. So it's interesting that the bottom's cooler than the top because I'd guess the leg is a bit of a heat sink, but in the middle it's forty one. 
check our battery yeah battery is seriously cool that's really kind of nice to see battery is 20 battery used to be in the 30 odd range so that's a, that's significantly cooler just gonna open up quick plugs plugs are in the 50s remember we wanted to be under 60 so we've achieved that yeah um, before my plugs are running in the 70s and 80s so yeah we're 55 54 that's great 60 is kind of like the limit my ESC is uh, I would say 55 so also I was running my ESC close to 70 before um, yeah so I'm happy with that eh definitely cooler everything's nice and cool to the touch these plugs are warm I mean 50 degrees is warm but they're holding up that's the main thing eh these are the uh, AS 150 plugs I'm using as I said before I would have liked the uh, QS 8s but they aren't available in South Africa at the moment and I wanted to get these in a hurry but these are great they definitely lock out nicely and they almost form their own little seal they're threaded at the back here so something that's really cool about these AS 150s you can actually inspect you can inspect the plug as well which is really cool most other plugs you've got your heat shrink over it and you don't know the state of the solder but you can see i can at least have a good look at this plug solder and see that it's holding up nicely so before a day's racing or even before a race you can just take your plugs you can open them up both on your esc end and your lipo end and you can see that the solder is still good and uh, i think that's really awesome man. that's a big plus for me uh, to make sure everything's okay and the face plugs are all holding up nicely let's just check the battery again from this end now that's interesting eh on the terminal side I've got 33 35 so yeah I'll just rip the battery out quickly get a measurement in the middle of the battery Wow, okay, all of a sudden 47, 48. I think the battery heats up afterwards because when I measured it earlier, it was 20 when I was in the boat. So obviously, the battery somehow generates heat afterwards after it's stationary, which is interesting. So obviously that air flowing over the battery I definitely kept it cool because you saw me taking a reading inside there it was in the 20s but anyway I'm happy with the setup as it is at the moment I had a good run there let me just check how much what uh, amperage I've left here okay we ran that down to 3.7 uh, which isn't bad it would have been a good solid race that's for sure I didn't uh, I didn't come off the throttle too much pushed it as hard as I could so anyway, who knows, eh? But I'm definitely happy with that little bit of extra cooling. It does seem to be cool when it's running. Um, yeah, and I can feel the batteries obviously warm, does warm up after it has run. So just for those that are wondering what I'm up to here, I didn't explain it right in the beginning. I put a slot in the front here so we can have airflow going through the fuselage. Basically cooling the battery, cooling the leads and plugs, adding cooling, extra cooling to the ESC and then exhausting also over the motor. And uh, you know, even if it's a few degrees, it all helps because heat build up is exponential. So the lower you can keep it, the better, which was quite significant. You saw when I brought the boat in and checked the LiPo temperature, it was right down to 20 degrees. So obviously when it was running, the air cooling over it was keeping it warm, but then you know, when it stopped, the LiPo batteries tend to heat up uh, after you've unplugged them. I don't know if you've noticed that. Um, but yeah, and then the air comes through and basically exhausts out the back over here. And uh, it's basically the same concept that they use uh, in, in, in the electric airplanes. That's how they cool them. And I just thought, seeing that everything 
in the boat is waterproof why well, miss an opportunity to add uh, cooling to the system extra cooling to the system eh? like a, like a <laughs>